Hey guys, so right now we are getting ready to go car camping and we are loading up the car. Let me show you guys what it looks like. During uh, the summertime, uh, we love to car camp and this is our setup. Cozy. We're going up to the White Mountains and because it's a two hour drive or so, we like to go early and camp for night, wake up early and hike up the mountains. Yeah, that's this weekend's adventures. So right now I'm pulling out the snacks that we're gonna eat throughout the hike. Oops. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna take. It's a short hike, I would say. So we're not gonna take a lot of stuff. But let me show you guys what we have. This one. I love applesauce. Can't forget your water. These are my favorites. But yeah, packing up light. So let's get, let's take these snacks to the car. Sprinklers are on. And this is where we do the snacks. You ready? I am ready. So we just made it to the place where we're gonna camp for the night. And we have just set up. I can't see you. There you are. We are in the process of brushing our teeth, brushing our teeth, getting into our PJs. Yep. Can you do the honors of putting my toothpaste? And for water, we usually bring a big container like this of water where we can rinse and wash off our faces and shower yeah basically i'll put ice in here by the way cool we get cold water and this is how it's done <laughs> car camping <laughs> you recording this? Beautiful day today to be hiking. Look at those clear skies. Here we are stretching because last night um, John and pulled a muscle or something. No, it was a challenge. The Yorkie thought that he was going to be faster than me. And I, I, literally, I literally said, let's go take the dog for a small walk down the block. Well, he looked at me and it was game on. Because screw the Yorkie, I'm bigger than him. One second into this 
full on sprint, I pull my hamstring. And now he's limping. And I'm going on a hike. Yep. I feel like I should be in the hospital right now. So this is the entrance of hiking up to Mount Willard. It is a three mile hike, correct? Um, yeah, it's about 1.6 miles up and it's an out and back trail, meaning that the same way that you go up, you come back down. So it's a total of a 5K, so 3.2 miles. Yeah, so it's not, it's not terrible. It's pretty easy. I'm sweaty already. Made it to my first stop called Centen Centennial Pool. It's just this small waterfall. He's over there taking pictures. So there he is um, doing his photography videos explaining all his settings so he could take a picture of this little waterfall right there as mosquitoes are biting me as I stand here watching him do his work but it's okay because that's what love does <laughs> There's some parts that get steep and then some parts that look just like this. Pretty easy. But for the most part, this is a beginner's trail. Yeah. It's not crazy steep like if you were going to hike uh, Mount Lafayette or Mount Washington. It's nothing compared to that. It's just little steeps and then it goes back down and then it goes to flat surface and then things like that. And it's also a very short hike. There's people that park right next to us and start at the same time as us. And they just passed us on their way back to the car. And we haven't even reached the top. So we, we, we probably got like another 15 minutes. He wants to kill me. Help, guys. Ew. Ew. Ew, John. I'm not going to put this in the video. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you taste like the ocean. You're so nasty. <laughs> Gross. You're salty, babe. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. I, so I just remembered what I was gonna say. Um, this uh, mountain, Willard Mountain, is the best view for sunrise. And the foliage in the fall. Yes, I actually Googled it. That's how I know. Hey. So if you wanna watch uh, sunrise, a really beautiful sunrise, Mount Willard is the one to go. And by the way, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Show them. Check it out, guys. How gorgeous is this view? Oof, I can't imagine how sun sunrise will look like.
How beautiful is this place? Not as much as you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> magical <sighs> so now that we got like about 10 minutes of just watching the, the beautiful scenery of Mount Willard we're headed back down <laughs> because we have another destination to go where I'll take you guys along as well we have made it to the bottom of Mount Willard how do you feel Piece of cake. Oh, I said it's a beginner trail. Yeah, pretty. The, going. The, the view, though, it's always going to be beautiful, especially in the fall. Yeah. Going down was so much relax, relaxing yeah. than going up. Yeah, and it's, we and haven't it's worked out too. in months. So, this was a good start of our fitness journey. So here we have made it to our second destination. You're so annoying. Leave me alone. <laughs> but you still love me. <laughs> Let's go. So this is our second destination. What is it? Arethusa Falls. And we're gonna go up to just where? We are going to We're gonna go up Ripley Falls, I think it's called. They got some like many waterfalls and cascades. He said it's about 30 minutes to get up there. Yes, yeah, we're not gonna do minutes. the whole thing. We're not doing the whole loop today. Mm -hmm. um, we're just looking for the the closest scenic areas, and that's what we're gonna do because we just finished the hike, and we're feeling mm -hmm. a little lazy. So after this, we'll call it a day. Which way are we going, Jen? Bemis Brook Trail or Arethusa Falls? Bemis Brook Trail. All right, let's We'll see. do Arethusa Falls next time. Yes, we're gonna leave Arethusa Falls because it's a longer hike. It's like five miles and it's a loop. This one is just an out and back. So here we made it to Fawn Pool. Putting on a show for you. It is. We are officially at Venus Falls. Look at this view. Something literally bit me right there, and yeah, I have a mark. So, um, what I'm about to do is make a wish. Usually when I go to a waterfall, uh, I take a mountain, I usually take a rock. One is for memory, and the other one is to make a wish. 
and throw it out to the waterfall and manifest my dreams to come true. So let's do it. I wish. So while uh, John is over there uh, with his photographer taking pictures and stuff of the waterfall, I found a rock that I could give him. It's a heart! Drinking water. What are we, what water do we drink? Essential. Ionized, purified water yeah, with electrolytes. It's backwards. <laughs> it's not backwards for me. Um, so you, while you were doing your pictures over there? Yeah. I got you something. What you got? Is that a heart-shaped rock? Yes. You're the best. <laughs> hey guys, so we're on our way down. Um, because these mosquitoes are eating us. And I unfortunately forgot the mosquito repellent in the car. And apparently they, they could work past the sweat in our bodies. <laughs> They're like salt, I guess. I guess. <laughs> they don't get off of us. I've got mosquitoes in my ears, yeah, in my nose, in everywhere. my eyes, in my mouth. Hey, we should check ourselves for ticks later. Definitely. So... You know what's keeping me motivated? What? Knowing that we're gonna go to Duncan's right after this. Here we are at the very end of the trail. This is gonna wrap up the day for us. Now we're gonna head to Duncan's. We're gonna head home, gonna eat some food, take a shower, go to sleep. We made it. And we just made it to the car! And he is actually looking at the map to see which way is faster to go home. I'm looking Old to school. see what's the fastest way to get a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real here. I don't want to take the long way, I want to take the short way. As I eat my... What's it uh, called? Honey and jalapeno beef jerky um. I'll see you guys at the next stop which is Duncan's do you want to know what's the best feeling in the world after a hike at least for me taking off your shoes Yes! Don't mind my crusty toes. Oh, I love that feeling of just stretching them out. Oh, yes! <laughs> Cheers. I'm all smiles now. <laughs> he was falling asleep on the way to Duncan's. Cheers. Clean. Mm. Pick you up. Now to go home. That wraps it up. Until next time. Yep. On to our next adventure. Who knows what it's gonna be? We just play it by ear. And yeah. Bye. See ya.